Hi, welcome to Google SketchUp for Engineers. I just want to talk a little bit about the Follow Me tool right here, the Follow Me tool. Well, let's try something. Let's say you want to just build a little pipeline. You can draw a line, draw another line, another arc. Let's go and put a little circle at the end. I don't know, something like that. Maybe offset a little bit. Let's probably, a little, let's undo that and do a little bit more. All right, so I've got a pipe. So the follow me tool, you can select one and you need to select both lines if you wanna go that far. And hit the follow me tool. Hit the face and you get kind of a pipe. And there's different ways to make it a better pipe, but you can see how the follow me works, how the follow me tool works. Let's try some other scenarios. So you just put a little circle on the ground, draw another little circle, use the shift key to hold it in the green axis if you need to, and just draw it. Click on the face, hit the follow me tool, click on the face, and you get a little ball. And I have the hidden geometry turned on. I can turn it off and you can see it's a smooth ball. But each one of these are a surface in SketchUp. So let's try some other shapes. Well, I've got a little square here. If I were to select the face and then follow me and then the circle, I'd get something that looks like that. Kind of an interesting shape. Let's undo that. Let's go back to scene two. Sometimes I get a little crazy with the navigation. But this time, let's select the ring. Nope and then hit the follow me tool and then hit the face and you get a different shape right so you got to be careful what you're doing with the follow me tool here's another one select the face select follow me select the face you want it to follow and you get a nice little pipe section here's another one select the face follow me tool, the square face, and you get another pipe or a jet engine or something else. This time I have the circle a little ways away from the other circle. Select the face, select the follow me, and you sort of get a tire. Kind of an interesting tire, big fat tire. This time I moved it to the side. Let's select the face of the circle, right? It's to the side. And then the follow me and then the face of the other circle. And I get another tire, but maybe an inner tube. Let's try a circle. Follow me with a rectangle. And I get, I don't know what it is, but a big wheel. All right, here's a different kind of shape. I just used this one over here, the polygon. All right, you can make polygons. And if you want to change, when you select it, go down to the right corner and say, well, maybe I want 10 sides. And then you'll get a 10-sided. No, I didn't hit enter. So 10, enter. There's a 10-sided polygon. See what we get with this one. Select the face. Select the rectangle. Maybe get a giant nut. This time I have the polygon at an angle, select the face, hit the square, and you get something like that. You can see it's kind of beveled. Here's another angle. This time I made the face a little bit different, so select the face, follow me tool, and you get some interesting things. Kind of an interesting shape. Maybe it could be used as a bench or something. A benched flower box, right? You could do fill this full of dirt. People could sit on here and you get a flower box. Typically what the follow me tool is used for is something like this. You'll draw it a 2D image. You only need one side. You can select it, hit the follow me tool, 
and oops, that's not what I wanted. So what I really need to do is select the ring. Let's go back, just select the ring. Well, I'll unselect some of this other stuff. Uh, great skills, right? And I don't want the surface, I just want the ring selected. And then if I select the ring first and then the face, I should get something that looks like that. And let's get rid of the hidden geometry. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a game piece for an old board game. Maybe it's a light tower. Maybe it's just a decorative thing. Maybe it's the antenna on a robot. But anyways, there's a lot of things you can do with the follow me tool. And this was a quick introduction.